Hey guys, welcome back to Down Home. I was busy in the kitchen and it dawned on me, you know what, you can make a video doing this, Rhonda. You might as well grab the camera and get busy. So I did, because it's so easy to do. You guys can do it too, and I know you'll enjoy it. So here we go. I have the very last of uh, the garden's tomatoes, just enough to put about this much in the bottom of this pot. <laughs> and I've made some marinara. It's been simmering all day. And I'm getting ready to, um, take the immersion blender to it and break down as much as I can for my marinara sauce. Basically, I just had a basket of these tomatoes. Um, all you have to do is blanch and get the skin off of them, uh, cut them down, uh, take the core out of them, um, put some garlic in there and some onions, dice up some onions and stick them in there, put them on in the pot and just let it cook all day. You know, let it simmer for hours until all just kind of breaks down. Let me show you. All right, I'm just kind of uh, breaking it down a little bit more. I don't like chunky marinara, but I'm just breaking it down a little bit more and then I'm going to go ahead and get it in jars. My jars are already sanitized. I boiled them for probably about 25 minutes. So I'll get the last bit of this done. I'm gonna let it thicken up just a little bit more, just a tad bit, or turn it down a little bit. In a then I'm gonna get the jars. There we go. The jars ready. In the meantime, I cleaned up my mess. All right, this stuff is simmered and it's nice and thick. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my jars. Get my jars out of this big pot over here and get them going. Okay, guys, this is a fairly easy one. Like I said, you just simmer it all day until it gets to the thickness that you like it, and then you put it into jars. I just got my jars out of the water bath there. They are hot. Let me get a funnel. I'll start putting them in there. And hopefully I will get four jam jars. Hopefully I'll get these four uh, jam jars filled up. Have enough for at least four. That's all I'm looking for. That's all I really need. I don't use a lot of marinara. It's nice to have it throughout the year, here and there. But I'm not a big, huge marinara person just here and there so a little bit more on this one and a little bit more again there we go and hopefully there'll be enough for this last one Oh yeah, that's plenty. Okay. I'm gonna put this in the sink real fast. And then I'm going to tilt that pan up and get the most I can get out of there. Waste not, want not. So grandma always said, and there is enough in there that I could probably fill these to about a half inch head space. This one needs more. This one down here, I think is already about a half inch. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna get what I can out still. There's still more in there. Okay, put it in this one. Perfect. Again, I've been blessed. <laughs> I love it when I can empty a pot into every jar. It works out perfect. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna get a paper towel and clean off those rims. And I did put a little vinegar in my water, just so you know. In my pot over there, my water bath pot. Okay, and the last one. This is perfect. 
I was so happy to be able to use the last of the tomatoes. You have no idea. All right, I'm gonna put them back in the pot. That pot is hot. And then I'll turn it back on so it can boil. You wanna make sure you have a good inch, at least of water over the top. Okay. That's what the rule is anyway. Okay, we're gonna go there and I'm gonna cover it and turn this back on. So it shouldn't take long to come up to a rolling boil because it was just boiling in the pot, super heavy. The jars are super hot and the water in the pot has been boiling recently. So it won't take long and I'll come back when I pull them out, okay? Shouldn't be any time at all. All right guys, so basically we're gonna water bath them for 35 minutes. Um, the whole rundown of this is so simple that it's crazy. I'll repeat it to you really fast. You get your tomatoes, you core them, and you take the skins off of them, cut them up, put them down in the pot, cut them up as small as you want. Um, dice up tomatoes, I mean uh, onions, or mince them, whatever. Same with the garlic. Put as much garlic as you want in there. Put as much onion as you want in there. Uh, put it all in the pot together. Cook it. Simmer it. Low, slow, simmer it. Um, just let it sit there and simmer, 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 and it'll thicken up as it goes. It's great. It's wonderful. You get done. The house smells so stinking good. Oh my goodness. It smells good. Um, then just make sure you have sanitized jars and I used my immersion blender and I made them really, made the sauce really nice and thick and fine. And then I cooked it a little bit longer and then I just put them right in the jars and water bath them for 35 minutes. Easy peasy, easy to go. Um, marinara is just tomatoes, garlic, and onions. That's all it is. So it's a super easy recipe to do. Um, if you come across some really good farmer's market tomatoes, you could do a little batch of these. Easy. I mean, I had just a little bit of tomatoes, a small basket. So um, it doesn't take much. Just get you some little jelly jars or even the half ones, you know, cause if you use marinara for a dipping sauce, you really don't need that much. You can get those little quarter or jelly jars or half jelly jars and um, fill those up. Even if you got four out of the little bit of tomatoes that you bought from a farmer's market or something, you, you'd make, you know, a nice little something to have on your shelf. So give it a shot, it's easy to do. I'll show you when these get done, what they look like. Oh, and by the way, I did add just a touch of lemon juice and a sprinkle of salt because I always do. I just feel better doing that. I didn't put a whole bunch in there that's gonna change the flavor or anything, but salt really helps bring out flavor and things. And the tomato juice, or I mean the lemon juice is just a added little bonus to make sure the acidity is enough. Um, I think I added maybe a half teaspoon to each jar. That was it. So, I mean, all in all, I, put, I just put it in the pot. I think I put two teaspoons in the pot. So that would be a half, half teaspoon for each jar. So anyway, it's simple guys, very simple. Very, very simple and so rewarding when you have some breadsticks or something, you wanna dip in them, some cheese sticks or something. <laughs> you know, I don't get those very often, but when I do, it's nice to have a good marinara, <laughs> right? Also, just in case you're not really familiar with tomatoes, you wanna get a good Roma tomato or a San Marzano, um, something like a meaty tomato, not a slicing tomato, but a nice meaty tomato that doesn't have a bunch of juice in it. Because you don't wanna sit there and have it go forever and a day and never thicken up. So you wanna use a really good Marzano, San Marzano or something like that. Um, just so you know, for those of you who aren't familiar with different kinds of tomatoes and stuff, um, it's always good to have a little tidbit of uh, information, little hints here and there to help you get through to make a good product when you get done. I mean, I don't want this to be something that you're gonna hate when you get done doing, you know? I wish I would've never done it. <laughs> no, make it enjoyable. Make sure you get the right stuff to begin with. I think I put um, two or three cloves of garlic in mine and I put, I think it was one medium to large size onion. So that's what I put in mine, just so you know. All right guys, we're back. I'm gonna turn this off, it is done. Move it over here, something cool. Woo! But hey, happy to have it done. Ooh, a four little jars of marinara sauce. 
I could have done them in those little half jam jars, but we really don't eat it that often. And I'll probably eat it with other people around when I do, so I figured may as well. So, hmm. all right, here we go. Four little jars. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. I'm glad I got them done. It's better than the, I mean, I think I had eight tomatoes, seven or eight tomatoes, something like that. So that's not too bad. And you add in the onion, you know, and then, oh, good deal, popping already. And then the um, garlic, simmer it down for a bit, and this is what I got. So I'm pretty good with that. I mean, I don't think you could do too bad. I did use a slicing onion in there, I mean, a slicing tomato in there, but, um, I cooked it, like I said, forever on the stove, um, nice and slow, and simmered it. Um, and so all the moisture just came out of it, so no big deal. But yeah, I had a, I had some San Marzanos, I had some uh, Romas, and they were fairly large ones too. So I'm just happy about it. I can't, I can't remember how many there were. I mean, I can't remember what basket I even had. Let me see, I think it was this one. What is this basket? It's got a big old fat onion in it right now, but I had just the bottom of the, this basket full of onion or with uh, tomatoes, so that's all I really had. So waste not, want not, right, guys? And now, oh, there we go. <laughs> I love that sound. I'll never get sick of that sound. All right, guys, it's that easy. Give it a shot. If you get a chance to get your hands on some really good tomatoes, even I mean, that makes the difference right there. Is good tomatoes. I mean, you can do this with the stuff from the store if you want, but those tomatoes that are on those vines from the summer, I mean, you cannot beat that, right? So, okay, that's all I got. Ooh, there we go. I think that was the last one because one popped as soon as I took it out. So, we're good. I'll see you guys. Take care.